Thurgood Marshall, 1908-1993 Justice of the United States Supreme Court Each of you, as an individual, must pick your own goals. Listen to others, but do not become a blind follower. Thurgood Marshall was an American civil rights lawyer and the first African-American judge of the United States Supreme Court. During his 24 years, 1967-1991, as a Supreme Court Justice, Marshall was known as a liberal advocate for civil rights and the rights of the individual, including the rights of defendants and the right to abortion, and as an opponent of the death penalty. Lifetime Thurgood Marshall was the great-grandson of a slave. His first name was Thurgood but as early as second grade he began shortening his name to Thurgood. He first studied at Lincoln University and then wanted to study law at the law school of the University of Maryland, but was refused because of the racial segregation policy of this university. Marshall therefore went to study law at the African American University Howard University in Washington, D.C. He graduated in 1933 as the best of his year. Marshall went to work as a lawyer in his native Baltimore and in 1936 won his first major civil rights case. Murray v. Pearson, successfully challenging the racial segregation policies of the University of Maryland, the university that had previously denied him admission. He won his first Supreme Court case, Chambers v. Florida, in 1940 and was appointed chief counsel of the National Civil Rights Organization NAACP that same year. He then managed a series of successes with Supreme Court cases challenging racial segregation policies. He won 29 of his 32 Supreme Court cases. One of his most famous cases as a lawyer was Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka, 1954, in which the Supreme Court declared the separate but equal race segregation policy in public education unconstitutional. In 1956 he won Browder v. Gale in which the segregated busing policy of the Montgomery, Alabama, public schools was declared unconstitutional. He also defended the Groveland Boys, four young blacks who were suspected of stealing a car and abusing a young woman who was in it. Tempers got heated in Florida, but Marshall managed to take the case to the federal Supreme Court despite repeated threats. In 1961, Marshall was appointed by President John F. Kennedy as a judge on the Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. A number of pro-segregation senators, led by James Eastland, tried fruitlessly to block his appointment. Marshall was appointed United States Solicitor General, Federal Chief Justice, by President Lyndon B. Johnson in 1965, and on June 13, 1967, President Johnson appointed him to the Supreme Court. This, according to Johnson, was the right thing to do, the right time to do it, the right man and the right place, the right thing to do, at the right time the right man and the right place. He was married twice, to Vivian Bury from 1929 until her death in 1955 and then to Cecilia Sayat from 1955 until his own death in 1993. He had two sons from the second marriage. Thurgood Marshall, Jr. was an assistant to President Bill Clinton and John W. Marshall is a former director of the Federal Police Service United States Marshals Service. Marshall remained a member of the Supreme Court until 1991. In that year, he was honored with the Freedom Medal. He also received the Liberty Medal, an annual award from the Federal Constitution Museum National Constitution Center, in 1992. He died a year later, at the age of 84, and was buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Marshall left his archive to the Library of Congress, which has made it fully public. In 2005, the Baltimore-Washington International Airport was renamed Baltimore-Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport. In Washington, the headquarters building of the federal court system is named after Marshall, and a statue of him stands in the atrium of this building. Since 1993, the Puerto Rico Parliament has presented an annual Thurgood Marshall Award to the best law student in Puerto Rico. Highlights As an attorney, he successfully argued before the court the case of Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka, 1954, which declared unconstitutional racial segregation in American public schools. 
President Lyndon B. Johnson named Marshall U.S. Solicitor General in July 1965 and nominated him to the Supreme Court on June 13, 1967, Marshall's nomination was confirmed, 1969-2011, by the U.S. Senate on August 30, 1967. Marshall served on the Supreme Court as it underwent a period of major ideological change.